Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to automate infrastructure deployments in the cloud with Terraform and Azure pipelines. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Alright, I am on to my Azure DevOps portal and you see that uh, I have this Azure DevOps portal and uh, this is my Terraform project. And you remember I created the service connection with my so, uh, SPN for all my resource groups and all my uh, subscription in my Azure account so I don't have to create the service connection here so I click on repos I go on files and you see that uh, from here you can select the branch so if I go with the uh, master branch I have all this content but I don't want to make changes any changes under my master branch so I select the drop down and I go to my Terraform branch with this name and uh, in this Terraform folder I have this web app.tf file you remember that earlier I used main.tf file so this uh, this you can name it anything but the extension is .tf which is your main Terraform file so make sure that uh, if you are doing this lab you are in the specified folder and uh, specified uh, branch so if I show you give me a minute keep it this way and now if I do it like this and if I will go through the code a little bit here I want to show you what we are doing here so web dot this web app dot tf file is a terraform configuration file so terraform you terraform use it its own file format called hcl it's the hashicorp configuration language this is very similar to yaml so you would see that uh, while creating the build configuration or the build pipeline in azure devops you would use yaml files as well and when we are using terraform for the automated deployment or provisioning of the resource i'll use .tf file so in this uh, video we will see that uh, we want to deploy an Azure resource group, app service plan, and the app service required to deploy the website. So I'm you I'm also be using this storage account, Terraform storage account, and we and we have added Terraform file uh, to use the infrastructure as code to source control repository in our Azure DevOps project, which can deploy the required Azure resources. So now, uh, now what I have to do, I have to build my application using Azure CI pipeline, which is Continuous Integration Pipeline. So in this part, we will build the application and publish the required files to an artifact called Drop. So in in this part, now I will build, create a build pipeline, and I'll build my application and would publish the required files to to an artifact. So the bundled, the build, the build file that would be that would be the result of the build pipeline would be called as an artifact so this is what i am doing with my terraform code here so if i exit out of it and now if i navigate to pipelines then i click on pipelines now if i select this uh, terraform and i click on edit It will load and so this is how our build, line, build pipeline will look like so this CI pipeline has task to compile so these are all the tasks which this CI pipeline this terraform CI pipeline would do so this is my dotnet core project with and all, all of these tasks would compile this dotnet core project the dotnet task in the pipeline will restore dependencies so this task would restore the dependency so the command is to restore and the display name is restore path to the project is cs.project file if i see that in the repos so it would uh, the dotnet task in the pipeline will restore the dependencies built the code test and publish the build output output to a zip file so here 
it is uh, uh, doing the publish artifact and it will, the name of the artifact would be drop and this is the default path to publish my artifact now it is also copying the terraform files to the artifacts content is all i have a terraform folder from where it will copy this is the target folder i am doing it in on my hosting directory and then the package the zip file the drop artifact that i will get that i will be deploying to my web application that i will host in azure and i'll show you in the later videos we'll also give you give you the complete guidance on how to build dotnet core projects with azure pipelines so in addition to the application build we need to publish terraform files to build artifacts so that it does so that it will be available in cd pipeline so this is what i'm doing it from the copy task so we have also added the copy file task to copy terraform files to artifacts directory source folder is terraform and it is copying the content to my artifacts directory now click q to trigger the build so uh, you see that this is what it is this pipeline is doing to to build to and test and then publish the code to the artifact so i click on q here so by clicking on q i am triggering the build once the build success verify that the artifacts have terraform folder and parts unlimited website in the drop so i am going with the default so this is my agent pool this is my branch tag on which i am making the changes because remember why i selected the terraform and i click on if you see here i am clicking on run let's see if this will work as expected or not so if you would see here to see the jobs how the pipeline would run so this is how the pipeline is running it is initializing the job so these are all the task that i have defined in my build pipeline so this is what it is doing so it will take a few seconds or i'll say couple of minutes to complete it now it is doing the restore operation and after that it will do the build then it so see it is initializing the job it is a check out from the terraform branch then it is doing a restore of my code uh, then it would build my code using the new git package then after building the uh, code then it will test my the code that has been compiled and built so testing it would can do the unit testing it can be it would do the functional testing that entirely depends upon the build pipeline that i define so this is the terraform section but uh, we will do the uh, pipeline building uh, video as well wherein we'll see how to build the pipeline uh, to include the restore or the build process or the testing task so you define the task in the uh, yaml file that you will make and as per the defined modules or defined task in the yaml file it would do the operation so then we'll define the publish copy terraform files these are all the tasks that have been defined in the file so if i go to my uh, devops now now you see here that it is on the publishing artifact it is finishing the artifact publishing it has done all the tasks successfully okay now if i go to this agent job i see one artifact produced now if i click on it and i do a drop here it will show up it is acting up a little slow but you see the drop publish artifact will here let me pause and come back i'll download it this is the zip file you can download the drop folder i'm going to click on save as in the folder or i can i could have terraform folder it has terraform folder as well and uh, this parts unlimited dot zip folder as well i have saved it you may you want to 
It's your wish. So now will I deploy the resources using the Terraform infrastructure as a code continuous deployment pipeline. So in this part, uh, we will create Azure resources using Terraform as part of the CD pipeline and deploy the application to the app service provisioned by Terraform. Remember, I showed you the .tf file. So I go to my pipelines, then I select release and then the release pipeline. So we have different pipelines. One is continuous integration, one is continuous deployment. Okay. So here I went into my pipeline, then my release pipeline and I clicked on my Terraform CD pipeline and edit it like I did my build pipeline. Then this is the task, Azure CLI task to deploy my resources and under this task I selected my PSUGO subscription to authorize this pipeline to have the access on my Azure subscription. So this will create Azure resource group. In the West US location, the name of would be Terraform Storage Resource Group. Call AZ Storage Account Create to create the storage account. Call AZ Storage Container to create the container inside my storage account. Then it would create the list. So by default, Terraform stores state locally in a file named terraform.tf state. When working with Terraform in a team, use of a local files makes Terraform usage complicated. With the remote state, like we discussed in the previous videos as well, Terraform writes the state data to a remote data store. Here we are using Azure CLI task to create Azure storage account and storage container. So if you would select the Azure PowerShell task here and it says some settings need attention. Again, you would see the connection type. It would be resource manager and under the subscription, it would be so this is the available as well. I'm going to available as yours or I can use the available one. And to configure the Terraform backend, we need storage account access keys. So that is why we are configuring it here to get the access key of the storage account provision in the previous step. So if I do this and under authorize, I use already configured connection here okay so this is the inline script that uh, what it is doing now if you would select this replace replace tokens in terraform file if you observe the web.tf So if you would see this and if you would see my, uh, you would see one file that I want to show here and the, if you would see my web app TF file here, let me show you. If you go under Terraform, this file and if you would see the content here, you see that this. You see an underscore and uh, two underscores maybe. Few values are suffixed and prefixed with two underscores. And for example, the Terraform storage account you see using. So using replace tokens task, we will replace those values with the variable values defined in the release pipeline. Right. So if you would come here and so replace tokens in Terraform file. So this is the task. And the target file is the .tf file, which is this file. File encoding all over. So if you would see the variables here, this is the. So these are the variables that we have defined. So if you would see this file and says Terraform storage account. So this is the Terraform storage account that will be created, right? So you can change it, but if you are uh, going through the terraf.tf code here and you see these values, so these are the values which are prefixed and uh, suffixed. That will be replaced uh, with the variables defined in the release pipeline, like here. Okay, so we go back to the task here. So this is the Terraform tool installer task. 
install of install Terraform uh, is used to install a specified version of Terraform from the internet or the tools cache and uh, prepends it to the path of the Azure pipeline. So the version of that will be installed is this and if you would see the Terraform in it like you remember we run the Terraform in it command then the Terraform plan command then the Terraform apply and we use Terraform deploy, uh, destroy command to destroy the environment. So Terraform in it also is asking for some uh, settings so I'm going to authorize this here as well and uh, it is asking me for the container I have I do not have any container here. So you got the idea that when running the Terraform in automation, the focus usually is on the core plan and apply cycle. The domain Terraform workflow is like you do Terraform in it, initialize the Terraform working directory, then you produce a plan for changing resources to match the current configuration. Then you would apply the changes described by the plan by using Terraform apply command. Terraform in it task here you see the container and the key terraform tf state so the key is here but i do not have the container so i should have created the container and then implemented it but i just wanted to show you uh, the settings of the command so same like if you would use the terraform plan task and so you would use the provider is this and here also you would select the this subscription to give access here also under this this is the apply command that will run here also you will do this and here the app service deploy you have to make the service connection here as well so this task will run the terraform apply command to deploy the resources sorry the above one this one this apply to apply the resources by default it will also prompt for confirmation that you want to apply those changes or not since we are automating and deployment we are adding so we will see auto auto approve uh, argument here see apply auto approve and under the Azure App Service Deploy task, we will select Azure Service Connection, then the App Service name here as well. This one, Virtual Application, this is the App Service name that will be created. And so, once it is all done, so some settings are missing, that is why it is not giving me the save option here. So, save the changes, then create, uh, click on Create Release here. Once the release is success, then you would see all of the resources created in your uh, app service the azure portal so this is the flow of uh, automating the terraform deployment using the azure pipeline so in it here i should have used the container here this is it so i hope you understood what exactly is needed to uh, you know automate the environment using terraform and azure pipeline so uh, if you have any more doubts please mention them in the comment section and i see you guys in the next video thank you good day ahead bye bye